Hello everyone, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. For today's message on April 29th, 2023, I'll be using the Wisdom of the Oracle Divination Cards by Colette Baron-Reed. And there's the front of that box there. Want to make sure that we give credit where credit is due. So I always will mention and show the decks that I'm using. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and shuffled and cut the deck, and now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck. Divine guidance, spirit guides, universe, peace, love, and light. What do we need to know as the all signs collective energy message for this day? What do we need to know? Spirit, spirit, spirit. What do we need to know for those that have come to this channel and found this video today? What do they need to know? All right, and there it goes. Okay. Wow, what a beautiful card. Look at that. Okay. And it's, uh, it's number seven. All right. And please know that whenever you find this reading, it is going to be, you know, the right time. Time is fluid within the universe. Time is a man-made structure. So please know that these are timeless. Of course, I do mention a date, but that is just more for, you know, tracking purposes of when I actually did the video. But please know when you find this, the messages are for you. Um, Again, this is such a beautiful card. A lot of light blues and, and shades of blue here. So, you know, I'm a big supporter of colors and the energies around colors. So if blue is your favorite color, um, this message could be for you, okay? And also the card number is seven. If you're seeing 777, repeating sevens in your life and in your environment, I would suggest that you go out and, and research any numerology meanings because as we receive, you know, um, repeating numbers in our life, that is really the universe trying to share additional messages with us. Okay, so I would really encourage you to research numerology and any of the numbers that you may have repeating in your life. Oh, right. So the name of the card is To the Sea. So that's very interesting. Um, you know, I'm getting right away here somebody that's um, on a boat, a fishing boat, um, you know, this or or knows somebody in the fishing industry, this message may be for you, or this message could be about that individual that you do know um, that is a fisherman. Um, you know, for some reason, I'm getting something about fishermen that go out to sea for periods of a long time and then return. So <clears throat> if you know somebody that does that, if you indeed yourself do that, this message could be specifically for you, okay? And, um, you know, in this in this uh, image here to this, this fairy, it appears to be a fairy in a boat, and she, you know, she looks more down. Um, of course, we'll get into the booklet and see exactly what the intention of this card was from Colette, but... Um, you know, the energy here looks a little bit more down or, com you know, contemplating things or or that. And, and we know, you know, people refer to as being blue, being kind of in a sad, depressed mood. So if you are in a sad or depressed mood state, please know there could be messages here for you as well. All right. So we are going to jump into the booklet. I do so love to read the booklet messages. If you come back or if you have you know, been a regular uh, watching my videos, you do see me mention every single time that, you know, I use the booklet message here and I do read it, um, you know, and Colette Baron reed has put a lot of effort, not only in creating the beautiful imagery of the cards, but also a lot of time in the booklet message. So I do read that word for word. They are not my words. These are Colette Baron reeds words. If I would additionally add something, that is the intuitive downloads, okay? The intuitive messages for us today. So <clears throat> I'll just hold it up as I read, okay? So you can focus on the imagery here as well. Let's make sure that ring light doesn't have too much of a glare for you. I apologize for that. All right, we'll get it here. The essential meanings of this card, being in flow, Returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, 
a natural pattern of events. Okay, interesting. The Oracle's message here today. Isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life? right? Like water flows. You know, certainly this could be your message if you are a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. There could be, you know, specific messages for you because this is heavy in the water and the flow, the emotional energy here coming off the card. And um, so and please make note that uh, if you are a water sign, there could be these messages for you. <clears throat> All right. Isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. So that's interesting. Right now you're being asked to just go with the flow, you know, go with the, uh, I think of water and uh, the flow of the water. Instead of trying to swim upstream against the current, you're being advised to just go with the flow as things are going and just gently go along with it, if that makes sense for you in your life, okay? <clears throat> The relationship message. If you've come here today specifically thinking about romantic relationships or, or relationships in general, this message could be for you. There are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another. Okay. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires, to steer the ship? This is a control message, right? You can't control other people. You can't always control what's happening in the relationship. It's two individuals that come together and sometimes more. You know, um, <clears throat> some people practice, you know, polyamorous type of relationships, which is totally fine if they're consenting individuals. So if you're in a polyamorous relationship, you could have some messages here for you as well, all right? Um, <clears throat> interesting. I don't really get that very often, but here we are. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I, I must have a frog in my throat today. I apologize for that. There's seems to be kind of a kick up in allergies in my area, in my neck of the woods, as they say. All right. <clears throat> Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself your combined goals and desires to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. Very interesting. <clears throat> Can you allow you know, individuals to come to the table as they are and um, as you, you know, create this beautiful space of a relationship, you flow together and, and create its own energy, right? But it is important, again, to be your own individual and to, you know, do things that you want to do, um, that honor yourself. And please know that that is very important to develop your skills and <clears throat> to develop who you are as an individual um, including loving yourself before you enter into a relationship, okay? If you want to give the best version of yourself to others, it's important to prioritize getting there and being the best version of ourselves in a state of, you know, being single before you then, you know, enter into a relationship, if that makes sense. <clears throat> Prosperity message. Everything seems to work out when you stop scrambling, and allow the sea of opportunities to wash over you and wake up to your, I'm going to turn the page here, <clears throat> most prosperous potential. To get into that flow, you need to address your beliefs about abundance and money. The true meaning of your personal currency lies in your skills, your talents and abilities, and most important, your core beliefs, okay? Everything flows from your inner world and is reflected in the outer one. When grateful to serve, you align your prosperity consciousness with a higher consciousness, then you can expect miracles. 
Everything you need will come to you easily. Isn't that interesting? When we come from a place of, you know, our beliefs and, and, and focusing on our abilities and, and our gifts and what's in most important, and we come from a state of that and then order to give to others, that is really where that magic lies. That is really where our purpose lies, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, <clears throat> me clearing my throat like this so much really makes me feel like there's somebody here that is having throat chakra blockages and um, I'm, I'm picking up on that. I'm very sensitive to other people's physical ailments. Um, <clears throat> and um, for me, this is, you know, um, it could be allergies as well, but I, I seem to have to clear my throat frequently, which tells me that somebody here needs to speak their truth. Somebody here has not been going with the flow, but rather been almost hiding. And, um, and I know fear can do this to us. Fear can keep us from our, you know, our true selves and our true purpose. Um, but for those of you that are not speaking up and using your voice, this message is for you, okay? That um, I wish for you the ability to gain that courage, um, to take the necessary steps you need to take in order to clear that throat chakra by speaking your truth, okay? Um, a lot easier said than done, as we know, but this message is for you if you're having a struggling um, with speaking up, okay? Very interesting, okay? <clears throat> Protection message. When external conditions appear to block every attempt to move forward, there is no hidden message for you to decipher. Interesting. Like the ocean, the tides of experience ebb and flow right? There's ups and downs in life. Sometimes things go the way that we would like them to go and other times they don't. That is just part of the cycle. Um, we are all here experiencing that, every single one of us, okay? You are in a natural cycle. So know that things will flow again in due course. There is no cause for alarm. Stop resisting and fighting against the situation and learn to flow, all right? Stop hiding behind, you know, whatever you're hiding behind and speak up and speak your truth and let the words flow. Let, let that truth flow out from you, okay? Because the holding it in um, and the pretending that it's not there is actually being detrimental to your health. All right. <clears throat> there is no call. Stop resisting and fighting against the situation and learn to flow even when the tide is going out. Relax and trust in the in the abundance that soon will be your reach in your reach again. Okay, an ancient mariner's saying applies to you now. When fishermen go out, when fishermen cannot go to sea, they stay home and repair their nets. Isn't that interesting? So you're being advised to prepare. Okay, if you're having some downtime in your life, if you're preparing to start you know, a journey on a new path. It is important to do the hard work that it takes in order to, you know, basically bring those dreams and in, into your reality because we know that we have to do the work. We have to get over the fear or, you know, if we can't get over our fears, we need to get into a place where we are going to push ourselves to do it anyway even if we're fearful, all right? So very interesting message today. I really enjoyed this. This really speaks to all of us, doesn't it? So I hope you, <clears throat> excuse me, take that with you today um, as you go through your day um, and think about that. I'm also gonna do an additional card message here from our lovely Colette Baron Reed um, in a different deck. Uh, which is the Colette Baron Reed Day. We're honoring Colette today. Um, and today we're going to use the Spirit Animal Oracle um, by Colette Baron Reed. And, and that's such a lovely box, isn't it? I absolutely love that. And <coughs> excuse me. All right. So again, I 
shuffled and cut this deck off camera and we're just releasing any negative energy that may be attached to the deck divine guidance spirit guides what is our additional oracle animal spirit message today for those that have found this video for those that are watching um please know that uh when you find this reading it is timeless maybe the first part of this reading resonated you and this part won't and maybe this part will and the first part won't or or maybe you'll find bits and pieces from each part. So please, you need to, you know, focus on what resonates and leave the rest. It's wasted energy to try to think about where other things might fit into your life, okay? All right, spirit, spirit, spirit. And please note, <clears throat> I do love oracle cards. Do I dabble in tarot and use tarot decks? Absolutely. Especially decks that I love the work, the artwork and such, because I'm such a a visual person. I love art and, and colors and, and beauty. Okay. Um, but I prefer Oracle cards is what I'm getting at because I, I just like the, the, the messages that they give. And, um, so I, I will always, uh, you know, lean towards Oracle on this channel. Um, just letting you know that if you're ever curious why I tend to use more Oracle cards. All right. Interesting. Look at this one. Horse spirit, isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, the art on this card is absolutely gorgeous with that horse and the wind. And number 33, again, if you're seeing 33 repeating in your life, there's a special message for you. Uh, horse spirit, freedom is yours. You know, and I have this feeling too of air signs. So if you're an air sign, this message might be for you. I'm just really picking up and, you know, with the flow of the air, um, within the hair of the horse and the wind, kind of the breeze, you know, um, makes me feel like there could be something here for air signs. And there's also going to be, you know, messages here for you if you're not an air sign. Or if you know somebody that is an air sign, this could speak to them, all right? This could be your message if you love horses, if you own horses, okay? Uh, this could be your message as well. All right, so we're going to go right into the booklet message again um, <clears throat> and read the lovely words that Colette Baron reed has put together for us. All right, just hold this card up for you to view. Oracle message. <clears throat> when horse spirit appears, you are gifted with the spirit of movement and freedom. It is a time for travel and adventure. Whether that means a trip somewhere or taking a different type of journey, one of freedom of choice, okay? And maybe that journey is across the water, you know, with the other card that we just had. Maybe you're going to be on a cruise ship, all right? Maybe this message is for you if you're, you know, about to jump on a cruise ship, all right? And, and take a, a sea voyage, all right? <clears throat> Interesting. All right. Horse spirit reminds you that no matter the circumstances, you have free will and choices that can take you far away to a better, turning the page, place, a better situation, a better state of being. For there is no one but you to rein in your will to make a different decision. Absolutely, okay? People can give you their advice their personal opinions all day long, but you are the one that has to ultimately make the decision for yourself, okay, in your life. <clears throat> all right. You are capable of making powerful choices that will affect you for a long time to come. Horses are social animals and known to be a friend to mankind, willing to carry us forward when we need it. Horse spirit reminds you that help will be available to you whenever you need it, and companions will be by your side whenever you choose to go, whatever direction you choose to travel. Life is an adventure, okay? And horse spirit wants you to know that whatever choices you make, you have great spirit within, invisible, yet holding you up and always walking by your side. Absolutely. Like I've said in many videos prior, the power is within you. The answers lie within you already. You don't need anybody's help to get those answers. However, there are people out there that can help you 
to find ways <clears throat> to bring those answers forward for you easier, okay? If your in inquiry is about a relationship, you can set your heart free to experience love in all forms. Spirit whispers to you that the gift of freedom is yours if you allow yourself to break out of your perfectionism and stubbornness, okay? We can't always be perfect, all right? There's no such thing as perfect, in fact, all right? And, and stubbornness, you know, having it your way or the highway isn't going to work in your favor, all right? Make a move and enjoy the freedom of letting go of the need to control everything, right? <clears throat> All right, protection message. Here we go. Are you feeling stuck? Has your spirit been broken by challenges you have faced? Which is so understandable, okay? Life can be very difficult for some and, and at times for all, okay? Your current choices may not seem the best, okay? But you are not seeking the clear, but you are not seeing the clearing ahead where you can break free and run. Sometimes we get so stuck in the things that are going wrong that we can't see the big picture. And this is encouraging you to try to look at the big picture, even if you're experiencing difficult moments in time right now. Whatever your choice is right now, they can lead you to exhilarating freedom. So trust the guidance of spirit. Horse spirit is here to tell you that adventure calls and you will soon realize your power is greater than you think, all right? Perhaps your frustration and feelings of being fenced in are the result of being too much on your high horse. Isn't that interesting? You know, being in this state of a know-it-all, all right? You know, the, isn't that frustrating when we have to deal with individuals that think they know everything and they always have the right answer? Well, I'm here to tell you that is never the case. That is never true, okay? These people are operating from an ego state where they think they know everything that needs to be done, think they have all the answers to everything that is happening in the world. In fact, that makes them look you know, even more ignorant, doesn't it? All right. Um, a powerful thing we can do is realize that we don't know all the answers in life and we never will. And um, when we have different perspectives and, um, you know, different opinions coming th through to us through, you know, other people, please know that those are important to, you know, listen to and um, consider and being open to hearing, but you do not have to adopt those into your life. Um, so again, and if you're a know-it-all type, please know that this message is for you to realize that you, you should rethink that ego-based thought of knowing it all and consider other people's opinions and knowledge that they've gained through life experience as valid, okay? <clears throat> okay. So those on our high horse, unwilling to come down to earth and join the herd that um, wants to support you, all right? So being in control and in charge can be overrated, right? It's time to loosen up, drop the reins, let go, and prance with the others just for the fun of it, right? So <clears throat> again, we're kind of going with the flow, aren't we? So this first card was really a message about going with the flow, all right? And when you go with the flow and open up to whatever comes your way, that's really an opportunity to feel free, isn't it? And for those of you that are, you know, I don't know why I keep getting this boating excursion, you know, maybe maybe it's a, a large boat, um, you know, like or maybe it's a smaller boat, but for some reason, somebody here with either a boating trip in mind, you know, like a cruise or, or just a, a, a family boat outing on the lake, a fishing trip or something like that, I'm getting that heavily for you today that that could be your message, okay? Um, or if, if somebody is, you know, really been interested 
or afraid of the water um, and has a fear of the water, I'm here to tell you today that, you know, it's important to take the steps that you need to take in order to get over that fear of water, okay? It is not your fault, okay? Um, especially for those that lost a loved one to drowning here today, I'm getting, please know that that is not your story. That won't necessarily happen to you, and it is okay to enjoy the water. And, and if that means you need to take swimming lessons or wear life preservers, life jackets and that, to feel safe in the water, please do so because that fear is holding you back. Um, somebody here today, again, I, I'm sorry because it, it, I don't want to tear up myself here, but one of you has lost somebody to drowning and that's held you back. Uh, and um, so Spirit wants you to know that it's time to let that go and and be willing to become free again by allowing yourself to get comfortable in the water. That doesn't mean you have to do any deep diving or swimming where your head goes under, but you can wade in that beach, it's okay. Um, you can just go up to the waist level of water or whatever it takes, but please know Spirit is encouraging you to write your own story. And that person that died because of a drowning it's not your story. And I know you were close to them. I know that it broke your heart. I know that it had put additional fear into you about water activities and avoiding them. But spirit knows that if you can, you know, process that and um, work through it by engaging in water activities your own but you know you can you could promote your own healing in other words okay and um and that soul that has crossed over due to drowning is also coming through today to encourage you to enjoy water again and it's it was never your fault okay and you can and you can work on letting that go all right interesting that was a very personal message probably for only one or two people um that come across this video so again what wonderful messages that we have today. I really appreciate every one of you, okay? Every single one of you. All of the comments, no matter what they are, even if they're perceived to be negative, I really do um, welcome all comments because I learn from you, okay? I, I learn what state that you're coming to me in. I learn, you know, your opinions and your personal viewpoints and, and, and how you've put those together through your personal experience, which is valid and important, okay? No matter what. So I love, I love that. I love all the comments. Of course, I absolutely enjoy, you know, positive comments that lift me up and, and that and I appreciate those so much and thank you for that. I thank you for the likes and taking the time with me um, to go through these videos and, and I hope that there's a message here or there that you can pull out that resonates deeply for you today or for somebody that you know because my goal is to help others by doing this, all right? And maybe someday as I grow, I'll be able to transition to doing this full time because I'm being called to help you um, uh, and walk, you know, I'm being called to walk each other home, right? Walk, hold hands and, and walk each and every one of us home to the other side where we belong. That's really what we're doing here um, on the earth plane. Okay. So again, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I'm trying to grow and I don't know if you're familiar at all with the YouTube monetization program. There's a lot of prerequisites involved, which includes, you know, a certain amount of followers, certain amount of watch hours and that. So that is my long term goal, you know, hoping it comes to fruition. And the way that I'm doing that is by putting videos up every single day since I started. OK, and it can be discouraging sometimes, you know, when I look and see, I you know, my subscriber number has hasn't really gone up or it's gone down or you know it's kind of stayed real at how it's been about a month ago and there hasn't been showing any growth however i'm not going to look at it like that all right because 
people are coming in and watching my videos and they're liking and they're commenting and it's just a matter of time. I just need to go with the flow, right? I ha I can't, I have to let go of the need to control and, you know, I just need to allow for things to come to me because in that state, then I'm becoming free, all right? Then I'm becoming the person I was meant to be and have been called to be for so many years, okay? If you look at the date that I opened the YouTube page, okay, it's like, I want to say it's 2012 or something like that. And at that time, at 2012, I wanted to put up videos, but the fear held me back. So now it's 2023, and I'm just posting my first videos. See how much time I wasted in fear? That is absolutely the reality, okay? So if you can learn from me, it is do not waste your time in fear-based thoughts, okay? So again, I hope you have a great day. I hope these messages helped in some way. I appreciate you more than words. Please be a good human, and we'll see you tomorrow for another one. Bye-bye.